On the 2nd of April, a Falcon 9 lifted off from Vandenberg Space Force Base with a crucial payload. On board were the first 10 satellites for the Space Development Agencies SDAs, long-awaited multi-mission constellation known as the Proliferated Warfighter Space Architecture or PWSA. As the Space Development Agency celebrated the successful first launch of its planned constellation of low Earth orbit satellites, Director Derek M. Tournier said on April 5th at the Mitchell Institute's Space Power Security Forum, said, I'm not worried about any physical threats to the satellites themselves, I'm just not. He indicated that he's no longer concerned about China or Russia trying to shoot U.S. satellites down. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the U.S. has checkmated anti-satellite weapons of Russia and China with proliferated warfighter space architecture. Let's get started. A nation's most crucial resources include satellites, which have significant roles in both civilian and military communication. Military satellites are utilized for intelligence gathering, early warning against missile launches by enemy nations, and providing accurate guidance to a variety of military assets such as missiles, aircraft, and warships. So if satellites of a particular nation are taken out, it will become handicapped in a conflict. To accomplish this, anti-satellite or ASAT weapons have been developed. The U.S. was the first to possess this kind of capability. It carried out its first ASAT test in 1959. The Soviet Union, after conducting a series of seven tests from 1963 to 1971, declared its system operational in 1973. Russia is thought to possess two types of ASAT systems. The first type of kinetic weapon is a DA ASAT or Direct Ascent ASAT system, capable of destroying satellites in low Earth orbit, which they've tested multiple times. The second type is a co-orbital ASAT, a space-based weapon system, which demonstrated an on-orbit kinetic weapon in 2017 and again in 2020. In January 2007, China successfully destroyed a defunct Chinese weather satellite FY-1C. As per reports, the mission was executed by an SC-19 ASAT missile with a kinetic kill warhead. In 2019, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed the nation on television announcing that India had achieved a historic feat by shooting down its own low-orbit satellite with a ground-launched missile in three minutes. So, as of now, there are only four countries – the U.S., Russia, China, and India – that have demonstrated this kind of capability. France, Israel, and the U.K. are also thought to possess this capability. The Space Force is changing the cost-benefit equation of space warfare by launching a large number of satellites through SDA's novel Proliferated Warfighter Space Architecture, or PWSA. SDA's initial batch of PWSA satellites, dubbed Tranche Zero, will number just 28, which includes the 10 already in orbit. But close to its heels will be Tranche 1, with more than 150 satellites, and Tranche 2 with more than 250. Tranche 1 launches are set to begin in the fall of 2024, and Tranche 2 will follow in 2026. Tournier said, We'll have hundreds and hundreds of these satellites up there. It will cost more to shoot down a single satellite than it will cost to build that single satellite. We just completely changed that value equation. The Proliferated Warfighter Space Architecture PWSA, will provide worldwide missile tracking beyond line-of-sight targeting and high-speed communications. The SDA was established to achieve these ambitious goals within reasonable cost and schedule constraints, avoiding excessive overruns. 
SDA is leveraging proven commercial technologies that were developed over the last decade to keep costs down and enable fast deployment. The use of mature technology allows the constellation to be built in increments that launch every two years, known as tranches. The first 10 satellites of Tranche Zero, consisting of two tracking layer and eight transport layer satellites. These two tracking layer satellites were produced by SpaceX in collaboration with LIDOS, who provided the payload. They'll perform the missile tracking mission with their wide field of view IR sensors. The eight transport layer satellites, built by York Space Systems, will use laser communications terminals LCTs, to link amongst themselves and the tracking layer to create a mesh communication network in orbit. The transport layer itself consists of two types, A-class and B-class. A-class has four LCTs and can communicate both with satellites in their orbital plane and sets outside of it. B-class has only two LCTs and is limited to communicating in its orbital plane but additionally carries Link-16 transmitters so it can directly communicate with aircraft and other ground terminals. Viewers may note that with Link-16, military aircraft as well as ships and ground forces can exchange their tactical picture in near real time. Link-16 also supports the exchange of text messages, imagery data, and provides two channels of digital voice, 2.4 kilobits and or 16 kilobits in any combination. With additional launches, the Tranche Zero constellation will be ready for a planned hypersonic missile tracking test in spring 2024. As evident, for this strategy to work, SDA must keep satellite and launch costs down while enabling increased performance. Tournier said SDA aims for a per satellite cost of under 15 million. He added, I'm counting on internal investments in industry to help push this forward. My goal is just like the cell phone model. We'll keep the price of the satellites to the government essentially flat, just like your cell phone has a certain fixed price. But the capabilities will continue to advance. So for that same price, every tranche will give you more and more capabilities for the same price. That's kind of the model, just like the cell phone. Basically, the price is flat, but each new model has more and more capabilities. If SDA is able to accomplish this, the math will no longer be in favor of China's and Russia's anti-satellite weapons, and this will essentially render them useless. Technically, the US will have a swarm of satellites that will be prohibitively expensive to be taken out by ASAT weapons. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.